Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to review the Vic A50 graphics tablet. This is a review unit that was sent to me from Gearbest.com. Gearbest is a website that sells a lot of electronics items. And this particular tablet is selling on their website for US $50. And that includes international shipping and one year warranty. So it's quite affordable. I have already unboxed all the items. So let me just show you what are some of the things included. So we have the foam pen case. This is not a hard case, but I think it protects the pen pretty well. And this particular pen, it doesn't need battery, so you don't have to charge it. Uh, we'll look at that closer later on. Um, this is the USB cable for the tablet. So you do need to connect this tablet to your computer in order to use it. The driver supports both Windows and Mac OS. We'll connect this later. There are eight replacement tips included and a nip remover. This is the quick start manual and there is this thank you card that tells you where you can download the driver. There's no driver disk included, so you have to download the driver from their website. The build quality for this tablet is actually quite good. I like the design, it looks very slick. I love the rounded corners here. I love the single sheet of um, material, plastic I think, or some sort of material that goes across the whole surface area. And this is the drawing area. It's 10 by 6 inches. This is considered medium size and this is quite a good area to work with. It's very comfortable to work with. There are 8 physical shortcut buttons on the side. You can customize specific keyboard shortcuts to each one of them. And there is this interesting trackpad. It supports certain um, well shortcuts. For example, you can assign zoom in, zoom out to the scrolling up and scroll down direction. And if you want to change brush sizes, you can also assign them to specific shortcuts, maybe left and right. But um, that's basically what you get with this trackpad. You can only go up, down, left, right. There's no, it doesn't work like a normal mouse trackpad. So it's just for additional shortcuts. On the back, we have this nice pattern. Can you see the pattern? This dot matrix pattern here. Looks really cool. Nice rubber feet that prevents the tablet from sliding around. This is a very thin tablet. Now here, this is the USB Type-C port for the USB cable. And this switch here, this is for turning the trackpad on and off. Overall, the design looks really good for a US $50 tablet. This is the pen included, supports up to 8,000 levels of pressure sensitivity. It doesn't have a battery inside, so you do not need to charge this pen. There are two side buttons, the construction, the build quality feels very solid. It's more towards the lightweight side, which is something that I like. I prefer uh, styluses that are more lightweight because I can draw more fluidly, like I'm using a pencil. There's a little um, wobble to the pen tip, which is normal because all these um, pressure sensitive styluses for graphic tablets, they behave like that. And when drawing on the tablet surface, it feels really nice. There is a little friction, so it's not like sliding on a glass surface. There is some friction which gives you control when you are drawing. I've just connected the tablet to my computer. So this part here, this is l shape. So when you connect this to the tablet, the cable is going to go up. If you are left-handed, you can turn this around and turn this cable around like this so that the cable can go up as well. Since I'm right-handed, I'm going to do this. Now the hovering distance is about one centimeter, which is very typical of such graphic tablets. And when the pen is near, you'll see this um, light that comes on. When you're using the touchpad or the buttons here, the light indicator will come on as well. I'm now using the tablet on Mac OS. And before you install the driver, you should always uninstall other graphic tablet drivers that are in your system. So I have already done that, installed a driver. And for Mac OS users, you can find a tablet driver here in system preferences. So now I am controlling the cursor using the tablet. 
So let's take a look at what you can do with this driver. All the features that you see here, you have them on Windows as well. So this is where you can customize the pen. So for example, if you want to customize the side button, there are several options that you can choose from. You can customize the clicks to different mouse clicks. You can assign specific keyboard shortcuts to those side buttons. There are um, other functions like accurate mode. This will slow down the cursor as you're moving. You can toggle between pen and eraser. There is monitor switch as well, but I'm not able to test that because I only have one monitor here. Um, you can have navigation functions and if you want to, you can also use the button to open applications. So these are the different functions that you can assign to the side buttons as well as the eight physical shortcut buttons. And here you can adjust the pressure sensitivity of the pen using this pressure curve which is my preferred way to adjust pressure sensitivity compared to using the slider dial. So here you can choose to map the working area of a tablet to the whole screen or to a portion of the screen. By default, it's mapped to the whole screen. And here we have left-handed mode and right-handed mode. And if you want to use the tablet as a mouse, you can do so as well. There is this option here. And this is where you can customize the eight physical shortcut buttons. The functionality is the same as customizing the side button. So you can customize specific keyboard shortcuts as well. Now, in addition to uh, customizing all these buttons, you can also create shortcut groups or shortcut sets. For example, if you use Photoshop a lot, you can customize all these shortcuts for Photoshop use and then create this uh, group here for Photoshop shortcuts. If you use another software, you can create a bunch of shortcuts for that specific uh, software. So you can just click this little plus icon here to create uh, different shortcut sets. Let's take a look at the touch pad. So these are the options available. If you click on the drop down menu again, these are the different functions you can choose from. I have already customized the directions to various shortcuts more specifically. For up and down, I have customized it to zoom in and zoom out. For left and right, I have customized it to change the brush sizes. So um, yeah, that's about it for the driver. All these features are available on Windows as well. All right, let's test out the tablet and see how good it is at drawing. I'm going to open up a file that I have created for my text review. Basically just are testing out the different strokes. Okay, so these are the strokes. I'm going to use the shortcut buttons now. So I'm going to press this button here, which goes into eraser mode. And I'm going to, oops, I'm going to erase um, this part here so that I can recreate these strokes for you. And I'm going to hit this button here to get into the brush. So it works really well. See this giant cursor here? I'm going to use the trackpad to change the size of that cursor. Now you can change it incrementally by just doing very small swiping motion or you can change it very fast by doing it by swiping very fast. And it works really well. Let me show you the strokes now. So pressure sensitivity works really well. So you can press down hard to get thicker lines and if you press down with little pressure you get thin lines and it's very accurate you can do cross hatching very fast the lines they are very smooth so when you are drawing curves like this usually I will look out for how smooth it is when it turns the corner and here it's very smooth and the transition between thin and thick, it's quite gradual as well, so it's very nice. And the other thing I look out for is how well the line tapers. With certain tablets, the lines, they don't taper uh, gradually, they taper quite abruptly. But here, you can see it tapers quite gradually, so this is very good performance. This is a cartoon character that I drew. So you can see the thin and thick lines here and 
basically the lines they come out just the way I want them to be let's take a look at other apps this is clip studio on the Mac and pressure sensitivity works really well thick lines thin lines and I can get curves to um, transition very smoothly and to taper off very nicely as well so here's another cartoon character that I drew so notice the thin lines the thick lines clip studio works really well on this tablet I can get thin and thick lines very easily let's take a look at Krita same thing pressure works great thin lines thick lines and the transition is great the lines they also taper quite well works well with Kritar and this is Midibang Mac version same thing the lines work very nicely thin lines thick lines these are two files that I created on Windows this with Midibank Paint Pro and this with Clip Studio these are the only two apps that has pressure sensitivity working unfortunately for me I wasn't able to get pressure working with Photoshop and with Kritar and I did not get pressure working with some of the Windows tablet apps as well for example Wacom Bamboo Paper and Sketchable um, those are apps they don't have pressure I'm not sure why that happens I'm not sure why only Midibank and Clip Studio has pressure sensitivity I'm not sure why I have these issues with Windows but anyway on my website I have posted a text review for this tablet and there was someone who commented saying that it works with CorelDRAW and Photoshop so this could just be an isolated incident that is specific to my setup I'm using Windows 10 Pro on the Surface Pro 2017 so this is the text review if I have any updates if there is a new driver I'm going to test it again and update my review so you can uh, check out this text review the link will be in the video description below I'm using this on Mac OS and it works really well so for US $50 it's really worth the money as for Windows I'm not sure why I have those issues I was only able to get pressure sensitivity working with Midibank Paint Pro and Clip Studio but um, as you can see someone posted a comment on my text review saying that it works with Corel and Photoshop so um, I, I don't really understand why it's not working for me with Windows I've contacted tech support they told me to uninstall the driver reinstall again delete the WinTap drivers I did all that but still I wasn't able to get it uh, working well with Windows except for those two apps so yeah that's all for my review today if you are also using this tablet I would love to hear from you especially if you are using this tablet with Windows and if you have any more questions let me know in the comment section below if you want to get this tablet the link to Gearbest product page will be in the video description below as well thanks for watching see you guys in the next video bye